¿Qué está diciendo? We knew we wanted to develop a, a, a completely new language for the box trolls. They're able to communicate with each other, they're able to communicate with Eggs, our hero, uh, but basically nobody else can understand what they're saying. Early on, we tried a lot of different voices for the box trolls. Um, we came up with languages for them and stuff, and it never seemed to click until we went out to D. Baker and Steve Bloom. <laughs> That was really the only way we could approach it, is, is they're the experts, they, they do this the kind of stuff, they're geniuses. Well, originally, as we were trying to configure the box troll language, it would come out as sounding a little more Slavic. <laughs> like that, it, it, it's like it had little skis and skas at the end. That didn't seem right. You know, you wanted to find this place, they wanted them to feel more alien, more different, more other. <laughs> Let's do a little less language. Let's make it more just kind of animal sounds with like like a little a little word put here and there, and we'll use those to build it into this little structure. It's gurgly. It's uh, very expressive. A lot of music to it. Creo que todos decimos lo mismo. Yo creo que no. It was pretty challenging, like for Dean and Steve to to go through all the iterations that we put them through. We landed in a spot where we really felt great about, you never can quite understand what the box trolls are talking about, but you certainly get the emotional intent of it all. <laughs> they were just amazing how they would kind of take what was on the script page and then nuance and roll with things and I mean they introduced a lot of ideas and a lot of back and forth in their conversations. Collaboration is what it's all about. Working with D, it, it stretches me anyway vocally because he, he goes to crazy places with his throat. Yeah. See, we couldn't do that if there were only one of us. No.